All right, another unique machine to go over. The uh, Hoover Z, it was marketed as a sport utility vacuum, and it uh, has two positions, and it is missing a cover here because there would ordinarily be a white cover that would go over there that would hold the hand tools on the inside. But this, this is a very, very strange machine. So it's in its compact mode right now. And then if we pull this little trigger right here, we can actually put it into its... <laughs> That's a two-handed job. But now it's in its upright mode. And uh, yeah, this is just such a weird machine. Motors down here. And then we have uh, the dirt canister over here with what they call a self-cleaning filter. And what that means is this filter must... I don't know what the assembly under it's like, but it must have a motor that uh, spins it around as the machine goes on. And then there's a little arm in here somewhere. A little metal arm. Oh, found it. Oh, it's kind of hard to see through that. But, yeah, there's a little metal arm in here that kind of flicks the, uh, flicks the filter off as it moves around. And then the debris from the filter falls into this little chamber over here. And the main dirt collection chamber is over here. <laughs> it... It's definitely not a very efficient design, because the moment this starts to clog up, I mean, you know, it's just going to clog the entire machine. <laughs> so that's kind of dumb. And then, uh, this, I thought this thing might have like a, almost like a flow-through air path here where everything would come through the hose, but that is not the case. So this is just a dead end right here. It's what seals off the air path when you're not using the hose. And then there is a, uh, there's a little close-off point down here in the head, which I'll include some pictures of that because this had actually broken. And it was kind of a pain to fix they're not available anymore either so <laughs> I tried ordering one actually and then they emailed me saying oh this part is broken the part the part of it I needed I'm guessing the plastic on that uh, little arm piece just can't withstand the pressure from the spring so it's like when I got this thing it had about I think about six or eight inches of water lift at the hose, and now it's up to about 43. So, still not great, but I mean, at least it's working. And then, we'll look at the underside a little bit. We actually have a, a grooved belt in here. So, you know, nice long life belt. And this does have wind tunnel technology, so we have the front channel, the back channel. And of a weird little setup down here oh and something interesting about this machine is it has an electric height control when you hit different buttons on the control panel up here the uh the height adjusts so that's kind of neat but i think i've rambled on long enough so why don't we get to the usual i'm going to start this off on hard floors and then we'll turn the brush roll on a little later Here we can see the filter rotating. You can kind of see the little arm. Now let's turn the brush roll on.
right, so we got the hose laid out as kind of straight as I possibly can, which hmm, that's not going to sit straight no matter what I do. So, and uh, it actually doesn't disconnect here. That's just permanently attached, so can't take that off of it. suction went up a little bit. Alright, and here we are in hard floor mode. Well, I have to admit, that was definitely better than I expected it to do. But it looks like we're staying constant. Now let's turn the brush wall on. to retry that hard floor mode. Because I did not hear a change in the pitch of the motor. Whoops. Well, what the hell. It's only off by about 20. Not a huge deal. All right, and we'll go for a medium pile setting because that's what seems to work best on this carpet. A little bit of agitation. Things heavy on the backstroke. Maybe the motor on this thing isn't in the best condition. Well, I guess it is what it is.
So this will be another one of those things where it's not really a definitive power measurement just because a power measurement just because we can tell there's a little bit of something going on there. It's weird though, it's spun over spun over by hand really well, so it's strange to me that it sounds like that. It is a four and a half inch motor, about. Yep, we got some cat hair stuck to the top of it. Little bit of dust from the filter. And there's the bulk. But I see, uh, I think it was Ibasiac had a video on one of these, and in the title, in the, uh, oh, what am I thinking? The thumbnail for it, it said something about, like, monstrosity or design classic. Well, I definitely lean more monstrosity. They should have called this thing the Hoover Y instead of the Hoover Z. Because <laughs> this is a machine that makes you go, Hoover, why? <laughs> it's... It's just so unnecessary, and it's heavy. I have no idea how heavy, but I'm pretty sure it's heavier than a Kirby. And there's just nothing here on this machine that really, that really is essential, you know? I mean, it doesn't do anything that that's that different. I mean, sure, it folds down, but I mean, they've had, you know... And machines like the uh, the Hoover Fold Away, the Hoover uh, M Power, both of those had folding handles. I mean, sure they wouldn't get quite as compact, but I don't know. It it just this entire machine is just it's just a weird thing, but that's what makes it so interesting, I guess.